morning good morning everybody this is monday morning and you know what happens on monday morning it's merlin patty time yes it <laughs> i literally just got off a plane from las vegas so don't look too closely i, I, she I was gonna great. make faces come on <laughs> um, yes but thank you for tuning in merle m singer patty negri and this is Monday Morning with Merle and Patty, where we yes, talk about all things relationship, relationship plus. plus more. Because <laughs> today we're doing a plus, right? Yes, we're What doing are we talking about today, Merle? We're talking about when is it time to stop learning? Well, actually, I said it differently earlier. It's never. It's never. Of course it's never. Uh... Are you ever too old, too smart, or too educated to keep reading and learning? No, and the second you think you are, go run your head underwater for a minute. <laughs> I really, and you know, a lot of people think, oh, okay, I've been, I've been to high school, that's it. Or I've been to college, that's it. I got a PhD, that's it. That's not it. It's not it, and actually, with Google, with the internet, it's so easy to keep learning. There are courses that you can take online, little courses about little um, uh, little pieces of information, relationship information. Take a course that we haven't yet put online, but we will. She's working on. <laughs> Yeah, and for a million reasons. Number one, the world is always changing. Life is always changing. Information is always changing. Truths, in a weird sense, are always changing. Mm -hmm. But as important as that you're learning new things is that it keeps you alive and awake and, and your brain working, and that keeps you literally alive and awake and your brain working. Which gets, uh, which, by the way, the older you get, the longer you're around, the more important it is to keep your brain alive and working. And I have heard many people who have reached an age of, and you know, it doesn't, it, the number isn't really as relevant as the, the inner psychology. When people are old, so it's not the age, it's when they consider themselves, oh, I can't do the internet, oh, I can't do a phone, oh. Right, I'm retired, I don't have, you I'm, know. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, wait, my husband, my husband only uses a phone for a phone. It's a phone. <laughs> I said, actually, no, it's a computer. <laughs> no, it's a phone. So he does not text. Oh, he doesn't. No, he does not. So you can text him. You can you text you text can Nathan. Say, yeah. Everybody text Nathan and say it's a computer, or say hi, or let's take a photo, or it doesn't let's matter. do Google, I'll never or read let's it. go online, let's take a course right here, let's make a movie on our phone. We can, you know, we can edit it too. We can correct the color. We can add titles and subtitles. It's a computer. <laughs> um, but yeah, because again, it's that. You can read our books. <laughs> you can read our books. Yeah, <laughs> that's the start there. Um, but what it, it keeps you vital. It keeps you alive, learning anything. T take up that language you always wanted to learn. Get, get into spirituality. Get into metaphysics. Get into ghosts. Get into. So the thing is, it doesn't have to, and this is becoming more and more true, it doesn't have to be a classic. Uh, a university. It can be a anything, anywhere. It's different. I mean, people are engaged in services and teaching people things. So, on whether it's online or you take a yoga class or Pilates or uh, learn real estate or you want to figure out how to invest for your future, for your retirement, whatever. There are people giving courses about it. And by the way, don't just take one and say, well, this person knows everything. Check it out. Take a course with somebody else and you'll see who knows everything. Yeah, especially in, in any of the um, philosophic, metaphysical or anything, because 
you're getting one person's truth and opinion that's going to be 100% different than the next person's truth or opinion. So the more you know from different sources, I mean, math is one thing. You know, the fact to be fact of <laughs> one person's math may not be a lot different than the next person's math. How much is five in one? Seven. <laughs> oh, that's my math. My math is different than your math. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Yes, it is vibrations you're sending up. Yes. Again, because it keeps you alert. It keeps you with goals and focus and purpose, which makes you six. live longer. <laughs> I told him it was six. Oh. <laughs> That's the, mine's the new math they threatened us with my whole career. Um, and again, even as important as is, is uh, keeping learning, to keep vibrant, to keep alive, to keep vital to everything. Hi, Gina! <laughs> um, is if you do think that you know everything, you're going to start falling down a rabbit hole because that's when the ego takes over. Especially if you are any kind of a leader or a teacher or like, like what we do or your speaker. As soon as you really... Not to, not to buy all that, that you know everything. You, you, <laughs> well, I mean, it, I mean it, it, sometimes it's true. But other than us. Other than us. <laughs> right. If you're not us, then you... <laughs> Math thinks think. they don't compute with my autistic brain. Ah. Well, then you go into the arts, as you have. I mean, you're a beautiful you artist. You're a filmmaker. You're, you're a spiritual person. You're many, many things. So we all can't be great in math, like I am. Five <laughs> plus one equals seven. <laughs> you know, you know. But again, keep learning. And the second you really think you don't need to learn anymore is when you really do, because. Yes. Yes. You shut down. It's weird. Yes. And then people won't like you so much. Because <laughs> you become an asshole. Just saying. I just got back from Vegas. <laughs> I have spent four days with a priest, a nun, a demonologist, and myself, the witch. <laughs> so we're all giddy. Hi, Raymond. Hi, Raymond. Yes. Um, so what else you want to say? I... I, I... <clears throat> I think it's I think it's important. That I th I think we said it all really. Uh, <laughs> this is our first Monday of 2020. Our first Merle and Patty of 2020. Uh, you know I didn't want to bring up resolutions again. Well, I didn't want to bring up resolutions. I just wanted to wish them Happy New Year. Okay, okay. Well, so now you know what's on my mind. I'm thinking about this is a new year, and it's a new day. Well, some people argue, some people say that uh, 21, 2021 will be the beginning of the decade. And the rest of us say, if it's a two in it, then it's, it's the a new, new decade. decade. It's the new math. Yes. We've been threatened with forever. And we're going to go with it. Yeah. I like it. So, yeah, I think it's the 20s. It's the roaring 20s. We're in the 20s. So it's a new decade, no matter what mathematicians may say. Yes, love you, Dee Dee. So, so one of your, uh, 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 okay, so one of my uh, resolutions is to do more uh, book reading. I, mean, I do, I read the newspaper, I, I do uh, a lot of reading, but I, I want to resolve every day to read something out of a book. That is good. Yeah. That yeah. is not my resolution. <laughs> I love to read. I read all the time. I don't sit and read books all the time. It's a time thing. But my but it is to keep learning. Every day I learn. Almost every week I take a, a workshop of some sort. Yes. I'll be in a long yes, term. Yes, I am always yes. in school. That's it. Workshops. Yes. I'm yes. always another way in of class. learning. Because yes. I'm not a, a like read it learner as much as I am a, a visual. It yeah. Talk it to me. Work right. it through me. Let's do it together, right. learner. So I'm always in school. I didn't count my workshop. Yes. Yeah. That's really, uh, I think we said it. We've said it all. I think we so said it. So come back tonight at yes. 8 p.m. Pacific for Merle's Pearls. Yes. Tell us about Merle's Pearls, Merle. I like being the commercial announcer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it's time to be more strategic and less tactical about the work you do. So what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> that means, do you have a big picture or are you just putting out fires every day? So I'll have to explain it tonight. 
She'll, so you got to come back to figure out what the heck she just said. I will if you will. <laughs> so, Patty Negri, Merle M. And singer, singer, please like us, Facebook, Instagram, please, Twitter, please. websites, buy our books on Amazon. They're both audio. Audio books. Or Try download books. Audio book. Or print books. <laughs> We do something different every week. We are so goofy. We Relationship MiracleWorker.com. PattyNegri.com. You can't like me on regular Facebook, but you can follow me and you can like Patty Negri. I mean, you can't friend me on regular Facebook, but you could like me on Patty Negri Psychic Medium and you could follow me on regular. And if you try to friend me, when I, I'll bump, I, I've got like a thousand people waiting, but I, I will bump people for friends. When I can. So if you... You guys... have no of those issues for me. All you have to do is like me, give me a hug, anything. I'm... I was going to Huggable. say, yes, I'm huggable. Okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, we'll read that and see what you said. We need to catch up with him. Okay. Come okay. back next week. Thank you for turning in. Happy New Year. Come back tonight. Come back tonight. 8 o'clock. Merle's Pearls. I've been married over 50 years. I must know something about relationship and tactical planning, strategic planning. What is that? <laughs> Bye, you Bye, guys. Love everybody. you. Thank you. Hey, Hunter. Bye, Hunter. <laughs> Bye.